to license it. Meep, meep. Hi everybody and a warm welcome back to Maple Leaf Matchbox Makeovers. I'm Andrew and on the bench today is a 1 to 104 scale Matchbox Fire Pumper Truck. You can see the paint is badly chipped and worn. On this one the windshield has suffered as well, but mainly it's the hose assembly on top that's broken and bent and missing a ladder. Oh, what to do? Hang in with me with a fresh coffee and see if I can't restore this one to new condition. I invite you to get all subbed up to my channel and hit the notification bell so as not to miss some exciting summer uploads like the Dodge Charger Buddy Build with Cuda Cole and my epic summer build, the Gaslands War Rig. I'm posting regular updates on that one on my Facebook and Instagram sites so you can follow the progress. If there was one matchbox that everybody had in their collection, it was probably this ubiquitous fire pumper truck. I've lost all my cars from back in the day. I wish I had them now, but I don't. This one came in a lot of eBay cars, and it's showing its 50 years of age. You saw a moment ago that the one-piece plastic hose assembly on top simply disintegrated when I took it apart. It was so old and brittle. That's going to be the major repair of this job, and I can only promise to do my best to bring it back to new condition. I'm doing this build in response to a request from viewer Ethan Forbes. I hope you enjoy it, Ethan. Thanks for watching. While the paint is stripping off the one color main casting, I go to work on the metal chassis. It's responding well to the wire brush and Scotch-Brite Dremel tool attachments, and I'm feeling hopeful now. It came out of the paint stripper looking like this. The old matchbox paint really didn't put up much of a fight, and I'll continue working on the body with the same array of tools. The matchbox fire pumper truck had three iterations. It was produced from 1966 to 1969 as number 29C in the original 1 to 75 series, sporting a Denver Fire Department decal on the side. That was removed in 1970. It came back in a third run between 81 and 82 with a Los Angeles City Fire Department decal on it. The model may have fire pumper truck or just pumper stamped on the base. It's into the paint booth now with a degreasing and some basic hardware store primer. I find it works as well as any of the more expensive model branded primers. And there's no reason to change the iconic fire truck red color, so on goes a fresh paint job with a Tamiya spray can. Mist coat in the beginning taking care to get underneath in the wheel wells and all of the crevices in this intricate casting. It's looking good. I'm very happy to be able to use my 3D resin printer to print out this pre-made part that I found on the Thingiverse website. I just searched for Matchbox Fire Pumper number 29 and there it was. Easy. I actually printed three of them in case I had an accident with one of them. The spares go into my parts bin. While that's curing in my UV light box, I go to work on refurbishing the windshield and the tires to make them look as good as possible too. Did you know that Thomas Lote built the first fire engine made in America in 1743. These earliest engines were called hand tubs because they were manually powered and the water was supplied by a bucket brigade dumping it into a tub where the pump had a permanent intake pipe. 
Did you also know that there's a difference between a fire truck and a fire engine? Fire trucks are equipped with very large ladders that extend from the truck but do not come off. Fire engines, or pumpers like this one, carry hoses, tools, and pump water. The engine can also carry ladders, but they are set up by the firefighters and can be carried around. Water tanks usually hold between 500 and 750 gallons. With all the parts that needed attention having been taken care of, the little fire pumper is going back together and everything is looking fine. A little bit of super glue holds the windshield and siren in place. And there goes the 3D printed hose assembly. Let's have a closer look. It's got a brilliant red finish. And the base was simply polished well with flits. Sparky, the fire station dog, takes a prominent lookout position on top. The single back screw is tightly fastened, but the two front ones are cosmetic screw heads only, over some super glue holding everything together. You can see that the windshield and the wheels came out pretty well. They still show their age, but we'll consider that to be part of the patina of this old truck. I used to chase these down the street on my bicycle when I was growing up in small town Canada, so it's been a fun trip down memory lane for me, and I think it turned out quite well for a simple restoration, just like I remember it. This one doesn't look to scale in my little 1-64 to diorama, so I leave you with some glamour shots from on the bench. It's probably my most simple makeover recently but I'm guessing it's going to be one of the most popular gifts when it arrives at the Goodwill store as a free giveaway. Thanks for visiting my channel today. I invite you to leave your respectful comments below and be sure to tell me where you're watching from. I'd love you to leave me a thumbs up and become a new subscriber too. It's free. I hope you're having a great start to your summer and enjoying some restful times. Come on back soon and often. It's coffee time.